Today's color code is SW7632. Let's get cracking. Welcome back to the paint people. My name is James and this is color code, cracking the code on color selection. Why color code you ask? Well, it's because every single paint color has one or more corresponding color codes, and SW7632 is a color called Modern Gray. This is a Sherwin-Williams color that has been featured in their 2021 color mix forecast. And although we talked about it during our video on the Sanctuary color palette, a lot of our fellow paint people in the comment section below were really curious about this one. We're going to talk about Modern Gray's undertones, its LRV, but most importantly, we'll teach you how to use it, where to use it, and what to use it with. So to start, we can revisit the color palette that it was part of, Sanctuary. This mix of colors had an overall theme of earthy, warm, and natural tones all coming together in harmony. Not every color from this collection could be used liberally, but Modern Gray immediately stood out as one of your no-brainer color choices. Just look at its name. You have Modern and you have Gray, which is such a big part of interior design of the last five to 10 years. I talk about a lot of grays on this channel, and it's because, like a lot of you know, every single gray is different and nuanced. I swear, if there's like 3,000 Sherwin-Williams colors, it feels like two and a half thousand of them would be gray. There's just too many. So what is it about modern gray that makes it any special? Well, to start, its LRV of 62 puts it in that pretty sweet spot of looking luxurious, as it's on that breaking point between light and mid-tone neutrals. If it was sitting on a neutral scale, it would be a little bit nudged over to the warm side as it has undertones of beige and that kind of taupey red as well. If you're not 100% sure what taupey means, taupe is just a color that sort of combines brown and gray. And it's actually based on the French word for mole. Fun fact, where should you use it? If you're wondering whether or not this color is too dark to use throughout your entire home, I don't blame you because it really is a tough call to designate this as a main color candidate. It's certainly user friendly and has that wonderful balance of inviting beige warmth, but it's definitely on the darker side, especially if you use it in those poorly lit areas. This isn't going to be the color choice for someone looking for a minimalist gallery aesthetic, but if you were thinking of using a white or an off-white anyway, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video. <laughs> Modern Gray is an ideal choice in areas that have a lot of light, have a lot of white woodwork or surrounding fixtures to counterbalance it, or those areas where you want a little bit of drama without shoving it in people's faces. It's all about perspective after all. If you're used to using white all over your house, then yeah, Modern Gray will feel a bit dark. But if you've been comfortable using darker topes like Dovetail, or some more bold browns or charcoals, then Modern Gray will slot in nicely as a lighter neutral canvas color. The one thing that can't be denied is that LRV we talked about earlier. It's going to be darker than any off-white out there. Just based on its undertones alone, this one just barely gets my main color stamp of approval, but I award that distinction with an asterisk. What's a good trim color for it? I don't need to rely on my own creativity too much here because Sherwin-Williams has already given you an answer. Looking at the Sanctuary color palette that Modern Grey was taken from, you'll also notice a white in that grouping as well, and it's called Pure White. Pure White is great because it coordinates really nicely with any of the neutral color palette, whether that would be on the cooler or on the warmer side of things. Ironically, it's not exactly a pure white, but its impurities with its dash of gray and cream allow it to fit itself perfectly into modern gray like a jigsaw piece. They're just made for each other. You could also opt for something a little more airy like an off-white called white snow. This one will feel quite a bit brighter. It'll pop a bit more, which could look quite nice on your more low profile woodwork and trim. But if you're painting more large scale wainscoting that you wanna feature prominently, I would probably opt for pure white because it will be more of an inconspicuous look, which to me feels a little more refined. What are some interesting color pairings for it? Other than steering you towards the previously mentioned Sanctuary color palette, which would be a wise move considering they were all hand-picked to go together, I would present another option to you. And it's sort of a fun approach to taupe. Take a look at River Rouge, which is for all intents and purposes, a dark color. It has a 12 LRV, but I love it because it satisfies that dark neutral accent color that is anything but boring. 
I just love its plum burgundy undertones to it. It's a really fun complementary color that just seems to add the right amount of color and also does a good job at working alongside the bit of red found in modern gray. It would be a dramatic choice for an entire room, but would suit a powder room perfectly and even in larger rooms. Because to me, anything that is on the warmer side of things will always feel a little more cozy and welcoming compared to a colder color alternative. Can you compare it to other colors? Of course I can. It's not like there's a shortage of mid-tone warm neutrals out there, am I right? If you were looking for something that was a little bit warmer and had even more of that beige, then I have a color for you that has one of the best names I've heard in a long time. Taupe of the morning. How amazing is that? Similar color here. It's a touch lighter than modern gray and will feel even lighter because of its added gold hue. If you wanted to take a few steps in the other direction and go a little more towards brown and taupe, then I would steer you towards agreeable gray, which you can check out a video on right over here. In the world of gray, nothing is black and white. If you're getting value from our videos, it would help us so much if you give this video a like and a subscribe if you haven't already for even more color content you crave. See you on the next one.